Taylor, huh? Mm. You just say, what's uh, this? Uh, all right, join yes. us now, Rutina and Kofi and Don. Pleasure to have yes. you all here. Thank nice you for to having me. Wonderful to be here. I want to start with this premise. You all like each other? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not it's funny, I just said we kind of have a little, you know, sibling beef, a little yeah, a little bit. So it's yeah. nice to sit here and smile all set. <laughs> yeah. It is, it really is. Right. It really is. It's, it's, Do you, at yeah. any level, and each character is so completely differently defined in, in, in the show, uh, do you start carrying that on in your lives afterwards? Do you relate that way? Not with each other. Not with, Not each, with other. each other at all. Individually, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's just... You're so in it for so long. I mean, now it's been two years we've been filming, so it's impossible to like disassociate from what those emotions feel like compared to what you're feeling Kofi, like. Kofi, you know? your guy is a complicated guy. He really he's, is. He's really, he really messed is. Up. He's messed up in life, <laughs> and he wants to straighten it out. Absolutely. What do you think of him? I love him, and you know, there's a lot of transformation that's happening. But you know, there's patience, perseverance, and there's just a lot of roadblocks. And you know, the world reminds him every day that he is formerly incarcerated and that that's his past, but he's not looking at himself through those eyes. So I appreciate his, I guess, just nobleness. He's really ambitious and he, he works hard to be who he wants to be. And I think anybody can learn from that. And, and we showed the clip, but he's a daddy. He's a father. He's involved in being a daddy. Absolutely. And there's a lot of complicated issues, really with all of you, because your character, Don, you know, you were an L.A. basketball wife managing, a, a, you know, you picture the NBA player's yep. career, and now suddenly you're running a sugar farm. And this season, it's going to change for you. It is. You yeah. know, she's still that sort of master strategist businesswoman that she's always been, but she's right. in a completely different environment. And, uh, and we see that play out, you know, with her relationship with her son. We see it play out with her relationship with all the other sugar mill owners in the mm -hmm. state. She's the first black woman to own a sugar mill in Louisiana. So she's sort of revolutionizing, but to herself, she's just doing what she does, which mm -hmm. is to start right. a successful business and run it as amazingly as she can. Well, but they also say to you, yeah, you're pretty good, but it's the brand that your husband brings right. that right. we really yeah. want. And the truth is that marriage is really over, right? Yeah, I mean, she's, she's sort of dealing with two losses that you see in season one. It's the loss of their father, but it's also loss of her life. It's the loss of her whole identity. So she's really in this big transition of sort of building a new identity based on something that really is important to her, has meaning for her. It's not just about another mm -hmm. person. Right. You know, so it's, it's a huge sort of there's a great identity There's shift. a great moment uh, in the first show of the season where they're making a deal with you, they're going to give you the money. Right. Yes. And just, and you're just feeling so good, yes. and, they, and they say, you and your husband, mm -hmm. and you say, well, we're not, right? What happened? Yeah, there? What happens? yeah. It, it, there's, there's a moment of realizing that basically the world sees her as right. Mrs. West, yes. and that her own brand is completely intertwined. But she's pragmatic because she turns around and says, "No oh, problem." No problem. <laughs> <laughs> she's smart. Got it. Charlie, yeah, she's smart. Charlie is. Uh, right. She's never going to be down for long, and she's and that's always, right. always, always going to be ready to make up to make a move. Yes. The take, decisions take are action. never easy, but she was right on that. Yeah. Martina, welcome back, because you've been here before. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, Again, such a complicated uh, character on issues of race, certainly, and activism. Uh, what did yeah. you say last year? A beautiful mess. She is. She's, she's a beautiful mess. And I think, you know, this season, she's going to t continue to be activated towards the matters that mean most to her at heart and really get into the community, not just writing articles about the issues that are going on, but actually being out there on the front lines and seeing how much she can do with her voice and her presence as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So Oprah talked about this show really being a big deal. I've seen the pictures of you guys with Oprah. I've heard you talk about Oprah. That's a big looming figure. How yeah. does that feel, Kofi, to have She's that? She's like a fairy godmother. <laughs> you know, I've known her since I was a child. My mom was inspired by Oprah. I mean, to be able to talk to her, get advice from her, work with her, collaborate with her, be a part of her journey and her legacy. I mean, what else? Well, <laughs> yeah. Best piece of advice she's given you? Um, what you put out, you get back. And she said, your craziness is in direct proportion from how off-centered you are from the center of yourself and the center of God. And it's as simple as, if your house is dirty, that's if you see clothes everywhere, if you see, that's, that's how your insides are looking. And when everything is set and you know you're moving, you're on time, you're, you know, everything is just, that's how you feel inside. That's a good advice, yeah. certainly oh for gosh. someone your age. Yeah. Definitely a good, gems. good advice. I'm, uh, gems. Yes, gems. yeah, right? How about you, Rutina? What have you heard from Oprah? Uh, I think just being in her presence is uh, mm -hmm. inspiring and enough. Just how she carries herself with grace. Um, and she really sees everyone as an individual. I mean, she's here with everyone. And I find that 
incredibly inspiring because a lot of people sometimes you, can, you don't make eye contact, you're scared to, but she's right here with you mm -hmm. and she really sees you in your, your truest self. Um, and I think she told me once that I will uh, never not walk in my truth again, is what mm. she said to me. Mm. And I really took that to heart. Mm. Wow. Uh, meaning just owning who you are and being okay with that, um, which is important. So I, I appreciated that advice. Mm. Important and scary sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, to accept it, to have the acceptance of whatever you are, you know, being okay with that. So, yeah. Yeah, and you know, Don, you got to give us something. Yeah. It's <laughs> Oprah. We just keep going. Well, last year, I remember just being in shock that this yeah. was happening and in shock that, that you know, it's Oprah. It's Oprah. <laughs> um, and I, we, were doing, we were doing a photo shoot and I remember just being overwhelmed. I, I could see the pictures coming back and it was me and Routine and Kofi and then Ava DuVernay and <laughs> Oprah yeah. Winfrey. Right. And my, I just couldn't understand it. My brain sort of broke and I just, you know, became really emotional. And she came behind me and she just gave me this big hug. Mm -hmm. And she said, just step into it. This is God showing you you. Just step into it. Hmm. So that has been sort of my mantra <laughs> over the last <laughs> few years. Right? She's like a character. She's not a real person. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Man. It's crazy. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's been the thing that I've gone back to a lot. In the last uh, this, yeah. Listen, this is a job. Right? Yeah. It's, yeah. A job. it's a job. Yeah. You've had a lot of jobs, all of you. It's Even you at 12 years old. <laughs> 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 Have, uh, have had a lot of jobs, <laughs> but there's oh, they all... like that. They always laugh at me. They of course, like, of course. Baby, I'm the baby. Yeah. We no, can't help. I see them looking and saying, "Why is he acting like he's old? Oh, Why is he man. acting?" Like, uh, but but it's a little she, oh, a little okay, more I than a job, you, isn't it? Yeah. This one, right? This the, it's kind of a statement. It's a statement about a multifaceted African American family Period. dealing with the world as it is. Period. Well, right. I think that's it's an expression really of Ava and Oprah. You know, it's an expression of what they feel is is a conversation worth having. And I think it's easy to get behind a vision that is that big and and has that many layers. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think for many years. I, I would say that as an artist, you're yearning for characters that are complex. You're Absolutely. yearning for characters that are authentically rich. And this was that, it, this was that, that the whole, each character is a world. And then the world itself is so rich. So it has been more than a job. It's been sort of, you know, a, a purpose-driven mission. And all right, Queen Sugar. Mm -hmm. it's, all, it's all in the product though, right? So tonight, <laughs> returns with special two night <laughs> season premiere. That is, I'm sorry, on June 20th and June 21st. Two nights. Yeah. All three of you, yes. thank you for coming in. Thank hey, you. Tina did okay, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, did. Oh yeah, my God. Right. <laughs> 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 we made sure it happened. Yeah, yeah. all right. <laughs> <laughs>